What's up, party people? Welcome back to Honest Trailer Commentaries. Live and in studio yeah. for the second time. Look at Ooh, that. yeah. We made it. Uh, we made it out of our homes and into. I don't know what camera I'm supposed to look at. Probably this one, right? <laughs> the uh, smaller one in the middle, I think, is you. There's an enormous screen with my own face on it just over here. So I'm just going to be uh. staring. Off camera slightly. Perfect. There I am. Uh, hey, uh, so we're going to talk about the honest trailer today for Uncharted. Uh, give you all of our deep thoughts about this super deep movie that had a lot mm. to really dig into mm. and discuss and think about. Uh, Papa John's. We're going to show you <laughs> deleted scenes. Uh, answer fan questions, so keep those coming in the chat. And um, if we have time left, and I'll make sure we do, we're going to talk about the Avatar teaser. Because yeah. we didn't have a chance to do that yesterday. So uh, we begin with Uncharted. Um a film that's been almost entirely memory hold uh, for me by now. I, when I approach an honest trailer, I like to watch a movie twice. I watch it once, um, as a normie would, uh, yeah. with mm -hmm. like, a, you know, I have a pen and a pad, but I don't. I'm not really stopping and starting and taking notes. Yeah. It's just, just like letting it wash over. Let it wash over yeah. you as if I were a, mm -hmm. a person watching a movie. Uh, <laughs> and, Try and, to put ourselves in one of the the minds of you, <laughs> the the regular yeah, people, the, 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 yeah. the common man. <laughs> And that said, by the end of my first watch of one of these films, I usually have some like impressions, some broad mm -hmm. feelings, how it made me feel, what I thought, uh, maybe a light plot outline, something like that. I had nothing at the end of Uncharted. <laughs> I wrote, I think I wrote movie. <laughs> <laughs> and you were right, it is yeah. a movie. Yeah. Ship, big, ship, <laughs> treasure. Ship, big, movie. Um, wow, this movie was like a, it wasn't terrible. Definitely wasn't great. Gonna have to disagree with you. <laughs> it's ter okay. It's terrible. terrible in what it represents, which is like this is a completely paint by numbers, algorithmically produced motion picture with nothing to say and not even like compelling action or comedy. That yep. said, <laughs> that said maybe, agreed. Maybe I'm used to that. Maybe that's just the way things are. See you next time, folks. <laughs> right. We did it. We solved movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think, Danielle? Did you like? You ch you kind of charted. You charted a little bit. Charted. Oh my god. I was like, I was surprised. I was very surprised at how much um, I liked it, and I think you it's, like wet Tom Holland. I do <laughs> like wet Tom Holland. <laughs> He's 18, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I do. No, it's, legal. <laughs> it's totally legal to, to dunk him and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like it was, uh, um, you know, um, Tom Holland being uh, not doing Marty McFly this time, which was a, a pleasant change of pace. I think I mistakenly called that great acting, and then Spencer <laughs> uh, definitely let me know I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know if that. I don't even. I take issue with the fact that he wasn't doing like his usual shtick. He was. They just kind of aged him up a little bit. That made him so. It made yeah. it so awkward because he looks. He does have a total baby face. He has still. a baby face. Yeah. He's supposed to be like this. I don't know. Like gadfly man about town. I couldn't really even figure out who he was supposed to be. He's like, Tom some, Cruising. Sometimes they're playing it like he's still like he's Marty McFly, but from Back to the Future Three. Like a little older, a little wiser, a little more seasoned. <laughs> even though in in continuity, that's like two weeks after. But we, Back we'll to give the him listen. He. he it's been a few years, yeah. but uh, but then some other times, yeah, he's like already basically proto Nathan Drake, like yeah. he's already good at parkour and at kicking ass. He loves the sauce. He loves he's always to, drinking. Yeah, and he likes to flip. You know, he does the cocktail Tom Cruise tricks with the yeah. with the mm -hmm. alcohol bottle. So yeah, it's a little muddled. I feel like even that they didn't really figure out. Like it, it, it sort of can't decide is this just the first Nathan Drake adventure because yeah. he's already he arrives basically fully formed. What this is is a uh, someone at Sony said people love Tom Holland. What do we have that we can uh, yeah. put yeah. him in? And oh, hundred percent. Well, we have this Uncharted movie. It's about like two guys in their like thirties or forties. Um, they're both the grizzled explorers. Let's age one of them down and yeah. just make it Tom uh, Holland. It was absolutely that. Yeah. It, it was just weird. Like you could do a prequel, but you also have to do like Young Sully and the other, all the other uh, characters from Uncharted. my favorite TV show, show, Young Sully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would watch a Sully. Sully like, begins. A Tom Hanks Sully prequel. Yeah. It's just him going to flight school. Um, uh, another successful landing for Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Credits. Also uh, a long scene where he picks out which sandwich he wants from the uh, yeah. from, from the deli counter. Yeah, weird choice, but I think in retrospect, all they wanted to do is do a Tom Holland thing, and by that metric, it worked because this made uh, a bunch of money. So I'm sad. Yeah. I mean, I want people to make money, but not not like this. Not, <laughs> not like, like this. this. No, it, it, it not reinforces like every bad impulse. I mean, that that's to me, this is just like this is every one of these big movies that comes out now where they're trying to hit 
four quadrants and they want it to sell globally so it could be an international hit. So it's it's a little funny, but not really. It's a little bit of action, but not really. There's a heist, but we're not that into it. We haven't put that much thought in it. Like the heist at some points is literally like them running across a hallway. Like everything is kind of like half-assed. You pointed the, out that the heist does rely on a moment where a security guard agrees to just give to just the hand object it. to yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg's like, wearing hey, a jacket. give me that thing I'm here to get. And he's like, <laughs> hey, okay. The oh. And then he walks out. And it's like, like there's so many scenes like that like the one when i the first time i watched it one one scene really stood out to me and made me laugh a lot and it was my favorite part and it's when mark Wahlberg is trying to solve the puzzle of how the cross turns into a key mm. and he's like and you realize that in in most movies where you're watching like pretty good actors they like invest you in the solving of the puzzle i was thinking of harrison ford in uh indiana jones and last crusade when he's in the library in venice and it's like oh the the roman numeral on the ground is on that column and oh i gotta dig here and harrison ford acts it so you're like following him on the process of him figuring out this puzzle and mark Wahlberg is just i don't know he just he woke up but too he early has, that he morning has the look on his face that he's uh, always trying to decipher something <laughs> yeah but he's just like, oh, okay, that kind of looks like a ladder, which is just like this cross. So this must be a key. And it's like, I don't, I just don't buy this on the on the most core level. This isn't doing the thing that those movies are supposed to do. I don't do. buy that Mark Wahlberg's thinking hard about it. Well, I don't buy that he's solving this puzzle in real time. And if you can't sell me on that, that's uncharted. I mean, that's yeah. the whole thing. Well, a lot of it was just like taking the keys and banging them together. Banging them together, yeah. Uh, much yeah. like one of no those one... wind up monkeys. Yeah. And like, that's how they figured it. They were like, oh, well, you just put the keys on top of them and then they just have sex. Right. And yeah. you know, and <laughs> No, you have a key because it's like it's not really that kind of it, it, it's it's a it's sort of leaning in a national treasure esque direction, but it's not committing to it because it's not committing to anything. It's trying to be eighteen things at once, and yeah. so it's nothing. Speaking of which, let's watch our own trailer for <laughs> Uncharted. We'll stop and go. Oh boy. From the Disney of gaming and the EA of film comes a swashbuckling romp about a buff dude, a smaller quippy guy, and a sexy lady with an accent to hunt down a mythical treasure. Red Notice. I, I mean, Jungle Cruise. No, wait, I mean, Uncharted. Ugh, since when did bad versions of The Mummy become its own genre? Right, the pause. Uncharted. It was last year. Uh, it was last year. <laughs> Uh, we're doing a movie fight. I mean, I've decided oh. we're doing another movie oh, fight. All right. All right. Yeah, um, I, you don't have to roll the thing. It's fine. <laughs> it's time for Screen Junkies Movie Fights. All right. All right. We're, uh, we're on the thing. Um, I'll pick last because I'm coming up with a question. Uh, Uncharted, Red Notice, or Jungle Cruise, what's the better film? Let's We'll put a couple minutes on the clock and fight it out. Well, I, I, I mean, if I can go first, I have to say Uncharted. Oh, I'm definitely going Jungle Cruise. Oh, I get red notice. Great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this for a couple minutes. Go for it. Um, you know, uh, one of the benefits of Uncharted is that aside from a wet Tom Holland, which again is a selling point, um, it does, it, 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 there is a lot of action. You do see a lot of these set pieces. Um, there is a boat. There is a There is a boat. Jungle. Boat, boat, boat confirmed. Hold on, hold on. There's a boat. There's a jungle. There's a. There's no gala. gala. No, no, there is a gala. There's a gala. There's a gala. It's, isn't I thought it was like a like a scientific it's an, it's society. A, no, it's an auction, right? Or yeah, that, they're auctioning off the the MacGuffin. Okay, that's a that's a gala. It's a they're gala. All, listen, yeah. they're all in suits. It's very fancy. There's a bar. There's, there's a an gala. artifact. There's an artifact. Yeah, yeah. That's but a what gala. the other ones don't have <laughs> is um, that. Thank you. Uh, what the other ones don't have that this has is that Tom Holland clearly went to cocktailing school oh, yeah. and learned the art of cocktailing. There's also a lot of sliding on things. They spend a lot of time so sliding on sliding. the hoods of, uh, hoods of cars. Um, they slide down things. Uh, sometimes they slide up things. Sometimes they slide into things. And your movies, thank you. <laughs> All right, Lon, you're a Jungle Cruise? Yeah. yeah. I, I think to me, like the one thing that sets Jungle Cruise, just the just the tiniest bit of park, it's not that much better, is, is like, there, there's guys like Jesse Plemons, Paul Giamatti, Edgar Ramirez. They're 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 trying. They're oh, they're bringing yeah, they're... that. They're bringing supporting character actor energy into into the mix, and it's like it's something. It's it's not mm -hmm. as good as a real movie, but it is something. And and Uncharted, you get Antonio Banderas in there as the bad guy, and I kept waiting for them to give him literally one thing to do or say, but it, it does not happen. There's really not a lot of life. Behind well, the eyes of this one, I will say in 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 defense of that, um, our copy did not have Spanish subtitles, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm, I'm, flu was up to. I'm fluent enough in Spanish to understand that yep. he and his dad were talking about like you have to get the that MacGuffin. Was his dad? 
Yeah. Mm. Oh man, I, I thought he was talking <laughs> pa- padre like a like a Catholic like a like father. No, no, they're they're this dynasty that's always had this treasure. Oh, see, it's I always really trying to like impress his subtitles. Yeah, you needed the subtitle. Impress his dad. Right. It's like I'm gonna get this back. I'm gonna save our family fortune. It's that's it's that vibe. Um. Okay. Well, red notice. Look, you got Terranea. That's an excellent tequila. You got aviation gin. <laughs> That's a high quality top shelf alcohol right there. If only you had Tom Holland to mix them for you. <laughs> it would be perfect. They go together so well. Um, look, uh, Ryan Reynolds is saying a ton of things with the cadence of a joke, um, <laughs> with, with the same pattern and like the things that sound like setup, setup, punchline. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the rock. There's a twist. You know, he's not actually an FBI agent uh, who travels the world for Interpol and specializes in art crime. Who could have seen that coming from the opening scene where the Interpol lady is like, you know, there's no record of you in any FBI database. They're like, shut up, woman. Let's go in here. Uh, you've got um, you've got unforgettable villains like Soto Voce. <laughs> I love that you came up with Soto Voce. He's, uh, he's well a, done. Yeah, he's he's he strangles people. He um, talks like this. Yeah, uh, and and um, it, it pairs. Pr- I'll say this about uh, about uh, Red Notice. Um, it, it's on Netflix, and you can play it at one point five speed, and it pairs perfectly with it's that. True story. It's true story. Yeah. I will say, at least with mine, this could be a point for or against. There is no rock. Both of yours are, yeah, are rock heavy. True. You know, and with mine, Antonio Banderas gets completely deep blue seed which is like my favorite yeah. thing which is uh what i call a deep blue sea is when someone oh, is in the know. middle of a villain <laughs> speech. i have to explain myself in the middle of a villain speech or in the middle of this like like oh we're rah rahing the troops or whatever and then just murked yeah yeah, yeah. amazing um all right uh found, now we'll let the audience decide yeah. who, do you, who do you who do you who do you go what's with? the best out of these three yeah. disasters <laughs> all right let's keep, let's keep playing those trailer games make you feel like you're playing an action movie now the big screen adaptation has arrived and you'll feel like you're watching someone else play uncharted while you fall asleep on their couch that plucks a few cool moments from the games and scrambles everything else into a bland cinematic paste but hey everyone loves an unfaithful game adaptation right 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 no and why did this one get a pass? Are you that horny for Spider-Man? Do better, humanity. Yes, they are. Tom Holland yeah. is oh, really yeah. So I think this probably wouldn't have done as well, which means it never would have happened. But I do think that there's a good version of this movie where you do the Marvel thing, where you get Nolan North and you make him get abs. You just force just him to force get, him. just do whatever they do to Kumail, to uh, Hemsworth, to, 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 what's that, Ryan? Arrow. Steroids is what they're yeah. called. Yes. Human <laughs> growth <laughs> hormone. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Um, <laughs> just a lot of steamed chicken and cardio. Yeah, that's um, right. That's that's how it works, folks. Uh, I think you could have done that to to Nolan North and had like a great grizz, grizzled adventurer that yeah. people would have dug. But but he's so great in his cameo as man vacationing alone in the Philippines. <laughs> Nothing questionable there. Yeah, that's, that's in the Star Trek. Um, <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. All right. Let, let, steal our thunder from later. I just, in I just think show. that the, I, I think that this would have been a Uncharted Four again is a movie. You're playing through it. Um, yeah. It's it's. I not, mean, all the Uncharted games are like you could you could adapt any of the Uncharted games. I was even saying that even the first one ends with that big seaplane falling mm. down the waterfall yeah. thing. Like that could have been in yeah. in a movie. Yeah. But I think that oddly, uh, this movie was like semi low budget, so maybe you right. couldn't have actually pulled off a lot of the uncharted. But you save a lot of money by hiring Nolan North over Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. I mean, it, it, you could tell that it's a little low budget. Just like I said, it's an action movie where they they are very efficient about where the actual action beats go. There really are only a few big set pieces. Most of it is just them in a, like a room or a set bickering, yeah. Yeah. and that's how they were able to sort of. But I still feel like you could have adapted the games. Using that Probably same strategy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Parker with a fake ID. After growing roughly five years from his childhood flashback, <laughs> Nate's become one of those bartenders who thinks of themselves as more of a mixologist. A Negroni? First made in 1919 for Count Camillo Negroni when he swapped the soda water and his usual drink, the Americano. Is that cocktail school? Yeah. See? Virginia. In between shaking apple teenies, he's also become a self-taught uh, history scholar. are served in martini glasses and not the glass I looked it up. You can do it in. It in I, I, I wish right. they got that wrong, but you can do it in either. Oh, really? And That's acceptable? All right, yeah, fair enough. Bummer. Our core <laughs> expert, who definitely knows how to shoot a gun. 
Oops, I was thinking of the games again. Silly me. No, this version just knows how to chew some gum. What a classic character. There's no <laughs> payoff. You keep waiting because they do it so much. You're like, there's got to be a gum thing that he needs it to save the day. But did they really he does. The he uses it to do something. Pause. He uses it to plug a door. But, like, not ones. in an yes. important way. And that's, like, early on. There's still more gum callbacks mm -hmm. even after yeah. that. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not a... It, Yes, there is. There's a lot of mentions of gum, but there's no like crucial. Here's why this gum thread has been running through the whole. And it bit. gets at the whole like um, I don't know schizophrenia of the thing where you're trying to make him like an adult, like a grown yes. man, but also a yeah. child. Like, don't give him a bubble gum habit. Yeah. If you're also like, trying oh, to make him yeah. like. A, I love a... hubba bubba. It's like you are a grown man. Yeah, <laughs> I need to see your ID. And then it's like <laughs> it becomes a, con a point of contention too, like. Mark Wahlberg's like, real men don't chew bubble gum. It's like, is that a thing? Is that a trope? I mean, like, dudes like gum, right? Yeah, Fellas, is it gay to <laughs> chew gum? Is what we're asking. Right, keep going. Buff little toddler the whole time. You still working on the tie? I just can't figure out you the You work one. in a Major fancy drink. bar. Yeah. Shirley Temple. It's hilarious. Puberty's right around the corner, kid. You can grow your own. When you put Boston and a crucifix in your script, you summon Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> and when Marky Mark remarks on Nate's mark, Who's the right mark? He'll deny Marky Mark's mark remarks. I'm not a mark in some bar. But when Marky Mark remarks on your mark, mark my words, you're Marky Mark's next mark. Watch them form a mini-me, even mini-me relationship. You're only like one inch taller than me. As this charming, one-dimensional actor shows Tom Holland his acting future. You think that I know something? Yeah. <laughs> Did you really just ask me that? Bravo, gentlemen. Powerful stuff. <laughs> throw a woman into the mix with all the depth and backstory of a cave troll. One day I found a bronze statue covered in gems buried under a bridge. It'll kick off a non-stop three-way of double crosses. Sully, where are you going? You can't leave me. You let her take the cross? You let her take the cross. Give it to so, me. So yeah, pause. You're this kid. is the bulk of the movie. Yeah, is the it's three of them of being like, who's working with who? Who's on whose side? Can you trust me? Trust me. Yes. Throw me the thing. I can't trust you. Give me the thing first, and then I'll give you the yeah. thing. Yeah, you, you throw me the idol. Me. I throw you the whip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> extended <laughs> yeah. edition. Yeah. yeah. And then you'd have to say it twice because they do everything like Johnny two times, two yeah. times. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very big on that. yeah. It just really, it's it's really the minimum viable product to get you from one scene to the next, which is like a little talk yeah. about trusting, a little a little back and forth insult, and then a parkour, it, and then you're on to the next. It part. also made me feel like they're taking a lot of weird cues from the pirates of the Caribbean mm -hmm. franchise. There's yeah. like all the big ship stuff, and that's like the big finish is like this pirate sequence, and then that's their bit is like the endless, oh, I'm betraying you, and parlay, and oh, oh I'm gonna go over here and work with him, and now he's here, and it's just like, it, it doesn't really even work there. And like, even in the Pirates movies, I remember us sitting around being like, oh, this is kind of all just goes around in circles after a while. True, but even in the Pirates movies, you have people with uh, distinct and competing motivations. These are, I guess you have, like, with, with this movie, it's his brother, which we didn't even mention because that's how interesting it is. As yeah. a driving they're, force they're really movie. setting that up for the next one, yeah. I think. Mm. Is, they're like... It, the payoff for that one doesn't come yet. Cause we're... But like Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp have like very different, you know, uh, points of view and reasons why they're mm -hmm. trying to find these different treasures. So, and this is just like v vaguely like they want them to be morally gray, but they're afraid to make them actually bad. But they right. want you to like everybody, and they just but they just want the gold. Yeah, and who I, cares? I don't care why any of them get this. It's the thing the Uncharted games do better is how Sully is like a legitimately allowed to be more of a gray area kind of character and in this yeah they want it you, you gotta you gotta love him like, you gotta yeah. love him it's just like a, gotta love everybody it's just a bunch of people who want to get rich which is like well that's everybody like I don't <laughs> yeah. that doesn't yes we would all like to have a bunch of gold <laughs> yeah I did dope. appreciate that there's no no character who is like the Hey, we should give this gold back to like the people that it was stolen she, from. Uh, <laughs> like what's her name? Um they're all just... I, I I wrote them down as girl one and girl Chloe, two, yeah. which is bad. <laughs> Don't, but I did. I wrote them down as girl one and girl two. Um, but Chloe had that moment where she was like, "Yeah, you know, I found that thing under the bridge, and I was hoping we would give it to a museum." But my dad was like, "Pawny, pawny, pawn," and 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 I'm waiting for the moment where she's like, "So I want to maybe take this and blah blah blah." And it's like, no, dad taught me a great lesson. Yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> like, no one get in, yours. Baby. No, yeah. no one is like, "Oh, we're gonna put it under. We'll take it around the world and show these treasures. They belong to every." 
everybody. Like, there's yeah. no character like that. It's all just like, no, I'm going to take him and put him in my vault. And truly, it would be giving this movie far too much credit to think that they were making a commentary on Magellan and the Age of Explorers, <laughs> also <laughs> no. robbing cultures of their gold. So it's like, they no, that's they not just a, they just ignored that's not it. a subtext. Ignored it entirely. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Anyway, keep playing. Being right. Well, we. I'm sorry, Knight. Yeah, I might let her steal the wrong coordinates. <laughs> An equip field face off over actual crosses. Give me a cross. I'm not giving you my cross. Why would I do that? You don't need them both. Give me the cross. You haven't said please. Throw your key down. You two think you're going to double cross me? You want the stupid key or you want the gold? So give me the key. Yeah, it goes on like this for like 90 minutes. Trust me. We're going to have to figure out a way to trust each other. She's not to be trusted. The minute you start to trust someone, you lose. You can trust me. Trust me! Oh, you don't trust me? Well, you don't trust me? I don't trust anybody. It's five billion in gold. Just split it three ways, morons. What are you trying to do? Buy Twitter? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was kind of funny to, that they <laughs> made it five billion Yeah, it's like you could just I get it, all you know, fine. like rewards have to, you know, we got inflation. We're dealing with that right now mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But like, make it a, make it 500 million. And then there's like maybe an argument for why three ways, like you'd want more, you get greedy. But What's five billion divided by three? Oh, oh I mean, yeah, they're all getting us. one point six, one point yeah. seven billion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that, uh, I think that's you'll plenty. be fine. What do you got to be Carl Icahn after this? <laughs> you'll be fine. You're all just buying like Henleys and like yeah. uh, and you know fancy liquor shakers. Like, what what, what okay. is yeah? What is Tom Holland's ultimate ownership dream in this? Like, what are, <laughs> and, uh, he needs to buy like a chain of islands. Like, what is this? Well, he needs more like stuff for him to like do workouts on because they have that whole sequence for no good reason where he I guess just to be like, oh look, he can leap. People he, are going to be asking he's, like, how he can climb things if we don't show him practicing in his he does, apartment. He does have a lot of just like native parkour skills. Yeah. Like, uh, like this movie is assuming a lot of young people are just walking around with the ability to do parkour. Yeah. And, like, I mean, I guess never never using it, but just they have it in case. There was a – they were almost setting it up to be like, okay, he probably went into, like, a life of crime, right? Because he's, like, he's right. like ripping people off. Yeah, he's and, like a pickpocket. Yeah, and yeah. he was, I guess, in an orphanage growing up with his brother. Yeah. Raised by nuns, but they – Raised by – full on – I was expecting, yeah, like, full on Oliver Twisting, like, this is how I've been surviving. Yeah, he's, like, doing, like, convict conditioning, this. like, doing, yeah, doing yeah. pull-ups on the lamppost and stuff like that. But <laughs> instead – He's just like we a, like there a was bougie art, bartender. There was an artful dodger <laughs> character yeah. in between there, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Lame. Uh, all right. Let's keep playing. Wrap in for a globe-trotting adventure, way? but like the kind where you stay in hostels to cut Can costs, see? as Nate and Sully travel from the Kitty Got Wet Bar in Manhattan to Spain's most ancient Papa John's. I'm like literally in a Papa John's right now. To a cave with not Pause. one, but <laughs> two... <laughs> Is that what kind of Papa John's is that? Is that a sit down Papa John's? Do they have those in Europe? I just assume that uh, like McDonald's overseas is like a lot nicer. Like in, right. In no, this Scandinavia. Is, I'm, I'm, I'm like, not. I'm not doubting. I'm genuinely curious because it looks like if you were like I'm in a Pizza Hut. There right. are they, we used to have Pizza Huts in America. Oh, they were great. Sit we're, down. With it the was booth, like a restaurant. Uh, you, yeah. Pizza, you get oh, the, the red cup. The red cup. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. never. A, but mm. never Papa John's. That was never a Papa John's thing. Well, uh, tell us, um, viewers, yeah. if you are currently in or around Barcelona, <laughs> what's the Papa John's also, like? Also, are you often in fast food type places where they just have like frescoes from hundreds of years ago preserved yeah, behind I'm, like a thin layer of plastic? Untouched is it, ancient murals. Is that a thing always, in Barcelona? I think any of these older cities, you know, Barcelona, Paris, uh, London, there's always an adventurer yes. um, kind of crashing through. Every time to... you're in a coffee bean, there's just like a guy in a hat with a whip. <laughs> but one of the Moon Knights comes. In yeah, there and try, tries to decode. You know, a uh, friend of the show, yeah. Ify Wadiwe, is in Europe right now. We should ask him. Yeah, oh, let's, yeah. let's have Ify <laughs> dial in from uh, uh, Madrid um, yeah. Yeah, Burger King, <laughs> see what he can find. Okay. Uh, let's it's play. like find the place in Amsterdam where they got the Nepalese space cakes in Atlanta and go <laughs> underneath there, and there's <laughs> definitely buried treasure. Old boats inside. Sug it, Goonies. All stitched together by a thin paste of banter, parkour, and Blue's Clues level puzzles. In a film that doesn't even try to justify why two Boston jabronis can steal another country's gold for themselves. What are you, some kind of professor or something? Just shut up and fill your cargo pants, okay? And while you're at it, <laughs> say hello to your brother. Say hello to your brother for me, will you? Hey, that's my line, lady. <laughs> so fly through an adventure so average. Netflix is using it to train their AI that writes their movies. That's not so much a prequel of Uncharted as it is a Frankenstein's monster of Uncharted 4. A bad photocopy of Indiana Jones. Nines, why is it always gotta be nines? When did you decide to become Indiana Jones? And the soft launch of the PlayStation Cinematic Universe. 
Eh, pass. But how much cooler would it have been if they crossed it over with, I don't know, God of War, Saints Row, and Assassin's Creed? What the hell happened to you two? That doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> Story. Oh, no, I think a God of War movie would be awesome, and I think that they should just do that without effing it up. <laughs> I think they should just... I think they are doing it. They, yeah, yeah. That's the... It's one of those ones that's, yeah, that's, that's in development right now. <sighs> but they won't. Uh, so... What's the what's the ruined God of War going to look you're like? You're a God of War? You're a God of War? I'm a God of War. <laughs> you think you're a God of War? I gotta go find the God of War? Yeah. We okay. gotta go find Athena's bow and arrow, okay? <laughs> and yeah, there's gonna I be a moment. I have three parts of the map, but we need to go get the fourth and the fifth. Yeah. He's gonna use, um, I don't know, some kind of like like blunt stick weapon or something that entire movie and then he's going to get knives with chains on them at some point and go no. nah yeah. <laughs> and throw them to the side and then... I mean it's also regular looking Kratos and then when he get like we're, there's a moment in the movie where he adopts the familiar yeah. look now yeah. puts the the war before he on. was Kratos yeah. he was actually this schmuck it's going to be like a cut on the eye or something that yeah. makes the yep, blood yep. And oh, it's going to yeah. be like yeah These, it writes itself at this point folks <laughs> I am I will say uh they've got the guy Craig Mazin who did Chernobyl is doing mm. the Last of Us show for HBO Ooh, Max. Yeah, yeah, that could be good. He's great. HBO going to have great production values. I do feel like there's a good chance that's going to be cool. Leak there's it a, up. There's a, deep, a decent chance. Um, Craig Mazin uh, also uh, Hangover 2. Um, yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, and college Hunts, roommate, Hunts, roommate of Ted Cruz. Cruz. <laughs> college roommate of Ted Cruz, that's true. And he's doing the Borderlands movie. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, okay. So there's hope. Hope, there's hope. Hope for. Hope for hope I, I, also, who should play Crash Bandicoot? That's the movie fight. <laughs> That's the movie fight question. That's a great question. <laughs> who should play Crash Bandicoot? Not Chris Pratt. I mean, jo there's, I John, John Cena is the obvious choice because of the Jorts connection. I <laughs> um, <laughs> love that that's where you first. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Jorts, Jorts on Jorts. But you want someone more feral. Um, yeah, they got to be like, it got to be that manic. Manzoukas is a great choice. Galifianakis, yeah. Manzoukas, that kind of a comedian, I think. Or it could just be Colin Farrell. Like, he, he keeps, you know, doing he his, different, he's he's doing his yeah. different suit stuff. Yeah. Like, hey, yo, is... what are you doing, mate? What are you showing no. me here? Come on. <laughs> I'm spinning over here. <laughs> well, oh, man. Just as Penguin. Colin yeah. Farrell's Penguin as is Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep playing. <laughs> Peter Parkour. Oh, so much sliding. Oh, he's so wet, I guess. <laughs> Slippery when wet. Spidery when wet. Oh, that fire. Parkour, parkour. We got a lot of mileage over the years out of that yeah. office parkour cold <laughs> open. There's so much parkour in films. I'm puss in suits. <laughs> never say die. Gray's archaeology. Nolan North on vacation by himself in the Philippines. Hmm. Uncharted fans when they watch this movie. So. Drake. 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 And oh crap, remastered. Holy sh. Holy sh. Holy sh. Holy Holy sh Holy sh Tom Raider. Oh crap. Now, um. Wait a minute. Naughty Dog the company exists in this world? What games do they make? Yeah, so this is this is a uh, it's nice, but I do like the other tag we wrote better. Um, but I don't want to. Uh, I didn't want to get pulled because it's the it's the Tom Holland dancing to umbrella <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thing, and we've just had some some uh, parental guidance and, and copyright uh, flags lately. So yeah. I didn't want to, didn't want to tempt the robots. Yeah, Jackass really. Um... Yeah, Jackass and uh, and Vox Machina really put us on the on the bad side of YouTube's content restrictions. Yeah, wow, well, not happy. <laughs> um, I. Yeah, I guess uh, for R-rated movies, we'll just show a different movie and talk about <laughs> something else. <laughs> it, it happened to Showgirls the hardest. Well, like, Showgirls makes sense. Like Showgirls makes Showgirls sense, yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah. Um, did we, I forget, did we put Hal's face on all the boobs yes. in Showgirls? Yes, we okay, did. Great. Yes, we did. Okay. Maybe that was why. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's a step too, too far. Much Rudnick, too much Rudnick. Too much Rudnick all over this, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the, the montage of uh, everyone... Well, no, uh, okay, so in Saw, we had this horrible montage that I'd yeah. watch unedited of just all the goriest yeah, moments just from the, the whole the most Saw gruesome franchise kids. strung together. Yeah, yeah. Um, we blurred the crap out of it. 
Saw ends up getting a strike or whatever against it because we used a five second clip of somebody else's footage from Saw the Ride, the roller coaster. <laughs> like somebody did some kind of like, you know, a POV, like I'm on the roller coaster. Yeah. Um, and it was honestly it, less than five seconds, two seconds. Um, and that's what got yeah. Saw in trouble. So it's a dangerous game, these, this parody life we live. Yeah. Uh, obviously we would win if we took it to court, but we're not. Going to court. No, <laughs> I'm have. taking it to court. <laughs> Lee one L, watch yeah. your ass. Yeah. No. Uh, all right, let's watch the uh, watch the deleted scenes for Uncharted. Starring Tom of Finland, Senpai Red Notice Me, Danny Broshin, the how you say I yes Schmo, <laughs> Captain Hooks, Gal Gadot. Nolan I like South. Well, we'll that pause. I forgot about the 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 henchwoman who kills the the billionaire boss yes. in the middle yeah, of in the middle of the, the mission, yeah. and everybody's like, eh, "All right, I, I I guess I work for you now." <laughs> like if somebody yeah. murdered yeah. my boss in the middle of a of of work and was like, "Now it's me." Well, no, um, well. Now you ruined it because I was going to murder you oh. in the middle of this, and yeah. now I am in charge. That's true. I would probably just—I have to say—I would probably just follow Dan. That makes sense. <laughs> she I mean, killed yeah. you, and they yeah. was like, "I'm the host of uh, Otis Trailer's commentaries now." I'd be like, "So anyway, Uncharted. I didn't think <laughs> it's that like, good." <laughs> <laughs> Spenny's just sitting there on the yeah, desk, you know, blood. like, I, "What say, else you got?" I think I, I gotta I, say, like the least blood like of I've ever seen of someone. A getting very married. bloodless yeah. throat slit. Yeah. Very, yeah. She's she's very efficient. Maybe it's like she's. She's so good with those hooks that it's just a perfectly clean <laughs> slice, you know? Yeah. Yeah, she was good with a hook. Yeah, she's good with a hook. Well, if that's how I go out, um, what's her name? To you? Brodick? Braddock? She's got some, like, very weird, like, she goes only it's by like her, like, last Braddock, name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a moment, but it's a Marky Mark saying it in, like, a crowded bar, and I can't really, yeah, I make, out. really make it out. Her name is Girl Number One. Captain Hooks. she came first. The, <laughs> the one did. from yeah. Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, she does her own hair. <laughs> so I had it in my head. It's like, oh, she's from Sabrina. This is the only thing I know about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. Postcards from the Edgelord. Gold Will Hunting. Irrational Treasure. Who charted? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really much of a dancer. Lies. Now dance. And he's playing. Stop. Um, who's he playing in a in a biopic soon? Uh, the if you know one guy dancer. Oh, Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Oh. Yes, he's doing the Fred Astaire one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So he better dance. Could have been Barishnikov. I mean, There's a few sure. famous dancers. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Actually, might make more uh, sense because he's more the Jabba. He's the I know a lot of men. Tom Holland's doing the crumping movie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, all right, what do we do at this point in the show? I guess we ask questions. Or yeah. questions are asked of us. Quite right. We answer questions. Yeah. We don't yeah. ask them. Do you want to do Avatar? They've been, been asking for Avatar. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, I'll, I want to talk. About let's it. talk Avatar briefly. Um, I want to go back. I want to go back to Pandora. <laughs> Take me back. Listen, this family is our fortress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take yeah. that audio down. Yeah. And we'll just briefly. I. I mean. Vibe out. My my thing about Avatar is like it was always designed for like a big screen spectacle type experience. It's like you know like Captain EO when you used to go to yes, Disneyland. Exactly. Like. That was great, but it wasn't like I want to watch Captain EO a hundred nope. times at mm. home on TV. I want to go to Disneyland and see the little monkey guy fly right up into my face. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I, f I feel like the same way about this. Like, I'm obviously going to go see this in a theater and marvel at the 3D spectacle and then never think about it again. Yeah, oh, I'm going to go see it in 4D at least twice. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I want to see it with, and I want to see it with all the stuff this time. That's the face like I'm going to have. See, pause. That's the face. Go back to that face. That's what I want to be doing during my entire avatar experience it's just the yeah. that look that's the look i yeah. want um as i just marvel at the things around me i don't care if there's a plot i don't, I don't care if there's character I, if, yeah. if jake that's sully returns if natiri yeah. is back oh you named two characters <laughs> thank well, you, look, thank at that. You. look at you i really just want to go through i want to be a human in an aquarium no i want to be a navi in an aquarium yeah. and just look at the different fish flora and fauna exactly um, I, mm -hmm. I think that's funny. That's one of the, the big knocks against the movie that people always do is that, oh, you can't name a character from – you can't name one character from Avatar. They say the name Jake Sully like a thousand times in the movie. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's not even but a good It's also like example. name a character from the iTunes visualizer. Like, I can't, but if I'm on shrooms, it's the best thing to ever look at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is going to be so – this is different from, from a movie. This is, I think, the most positive version of a Martin Scorsese uh, – 
a roller coaster. What does he call Marvel movies? Thrill yeah, ride? like yeah, the thrill ride. Exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to get on. I want to lower the the shoulder restraints. Um, I want to shit my pants, as James Cameron has said. We yeah. will. Yeah, and um, I mean, I think people are remembering or evaluating it based on like you know it was on. You know, they watched it on Netflix a few months ago, yeah. and it's like, well, yeah, no, it, that it, wasn't the experience. It's bad. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I no. think we're all in agreement that like <laughs> I, these are not like classic films. If you watch, I had them to at look home. up the, just to make sure because it wasn't on the trailer anywhere, but it will be in 3D. It will be in IMAX 3D. Of course, don't worry. Um, this will not. People res- thought uh, they were bringing out a 2D retain itself to the. Well, I, I feel like a lot of theaters probably scaled back on the number of three yeah, projectors. Yeah, it's, it's, less of a, it's less of a craze yeah. than it was in 09. But. Yeah, well, because and it, it, again, these are different because this is like, it is built for 3D specifically. Yeah. So it's shot that way. And yeah, that's great. Again, I want to go into a theater. I want to have everything surround me. I want to, an usher to come and spit in my mouth. Like, I want the entire yeah. experience. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, maybe not now. <laughs> no, not now. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. Aww, uh, like, COVID ruins everything. If he can show <laughs> me a <laughs> recent PCR test, he comes by, he shows you a PCR <laughs> test, and then, then you he, get, and then, then he, he spits, spits in, in your mouth. mouth. Starts talking. Yeah. Then he spits in your mouth. All right, uh, that's enough Avatar 2. We'll, we'll, we'll do a deep dive when there's a trailer. That was just a little tease, but man, I'm, I'm torqued. Ready. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're very puzzled by these So puzzled. Questions. Yeah, where are they? Where, where are Mystifying. They um, here's one. Uh, Suze Vera asks, who jumped falling? Who jumped up falling stuff better? Tom Holland in Uncharted, Orlando Bloom in the Five Armies, or Mario in a Ninten- in any Nintendo game? Mm. Remember that scene in uh, in Five Armies where yeah. Orlando yes. Bloom is like hopping up? Was it um, rocks or orcs? Yeah, uh, he, uh, rocks and then orcs. Yes, I believe there's a little. <laughs> there's a stream. I believe there's both. I'm also thinking there's that shot where he's standing next to a horse and then he pulls himself up on the horse one hand. You know, like yeah. he, he like mm. slides the horse under yeah. him almost, which is. That's that shot is better than anything in Uncharted. I'm gonna give it to Uncharted though because um, Tom Holland is ostensibly like a human being with uh, with regular human. Yeah, he's not human an elf. Bones. He's <laughs> not. He's not an elf. I mean, uh, Orlando Bloom has the has little bird bones. They're hollow. No, he's 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 got a lot. He's a he's a very powerful elf. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like elves are like birds. Like they have a hollow skeleton, so they're very lightweight, and it's easier yeah. for them to hop. Like, up, oh no, they're. Falling I mean, things. they're they're obviously much more yeah stronger yeah. and able to like fling themselves around way better than they can like yeah they can just like jumping stand up on the back of a horse while it's in motion like yeah. You never I... see like a like an elf with a dad bod. You never see like a no. like a sedentary. No, they, elf. Yeah, they tend to be you know they're they're wafy. Yeah, they're, wafy. they're all kind of twinks. But they're just, they are. <laughs> The five twink army. Um, <laughs> the fu- five yeah. twink army. Yeah. That, but that does. Speaking of twinks, I do kind as of. I so often as am. we usually do, I do kind of. I don't want this to happen because it's like bad and scary. But it would be interesting to watch someone try to rob Tom Holland because I do think that he would parkour away from them. You think he would try to kind of like skip? And <laughs> I think just slide, do a wall run. <laughs> I think at this point he has no choice. I think he's so used to it that he would it's, just like it's, start. It, yeah. It's muscle memory. Exactly. He would, he would also disarm you with his, like, charmingly befuddled, like, oh, oh, what are you, you robbing me? Oh, uh. And then, like, while you're caught up in that, then he slides yeah. and hops off the back wall. And he just, like, slides away. through your yeah. legs and, like, uh, finds an open door. Who's better at parkour, Tom Holland or uh, Taron Egerton in uh, Casino? That's the last oh, oh, yeah. Oh. I, I feel like Casino Royale came out like at the height yeah. of the parkour craze and really nailed it. And yeah. every other movie since then, it kind of feels like they're trying to just like recapture that mm-hmm. Casino Royale magic. Agreed. Also, um, it's a French film, uh, Escape from District B thirteen. Oh, or just, I think like it's that. just called District District B thirteen. Yeah, yeah, that, was uh, cool. yeah I, that does that. That's like I think the they guys just who, got parkour guys right. to just like that. That's like yeah. the originators yeah. of the parkour yeah. actual <laughs> movement were doing that. Um, I'm going to ask this one just because I want Lon to repeat what he was telling us before the show. Uh, Ben Zaiten asks, how did you guys like Benedict Cumberbatch hosting SNL? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Benedict Cumberbatch said some, I don't know. He said something about some sort of current political issue. Oh, it was on SNL. He was talking, he was making fun of the, the slap and Will Smith. Mm. And so uh, some people on black Twitter were pointing out that if you go back at Benedict Cumberbatch's personal family history, there were slave owners in there. So I looked it up. And uh, if you go back like four generations, the Cumberbatches are famous British actors. They're like this very, like a British dynastic acting family. And he's like great, great grandfather was acting on the stage in like the mid 18th century. But then, yeah, the guy right before all the actors owned a slave plantation in Barbados. So, ah, uh, well, Cumberbatch, <laughs> uh, bad guys. 
Uh, not today. Not Benedict. today. Benny, yeah, Benny, Benny seems, seems fine. fine. <laughs> Benedict seems fine. Benny seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he seems I uh, didn't watch the SNL, though. Was it good? You see it? Yeah. See it? Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah, some of it's funny. Some yeah. of it's funny. Some <laughs> of it was very funny. I feel like this season has been a real, like, there. it feels like it's back in some way. Like, not that it's consistently good every, but there's, like, there's I, good mm-hmm. stuff in it again. Yeah. Like, Sarah Sherman's been really great, uh, and, like, the please just don't destroy guys. Oh, yeah, those have been And, like, they've, really got, they've got a little bit of fresh blood coming in this year. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do uh, this one. Chris Sears asked, you're writing a heist film starring Nick Cage and Mark Wahlberg. What are they trying to steal? Who else is in the movie? How many Oscars does it win? So we'll try to, we'll put our heads together and try to do a, a cage Wahlberg well, let's let's make it a red notice. Let's let's make it a, a Cage Wahlberg red notice. Sure. So, they're archaeologists. One of them is right. Mm-hmm. Or one of them's dad was an archaeologist, and he died, and he left, Kate. He left Cage, mm. uh, a dinosaur skull with a map on the inside. Yeah. Oh, like inside one of the teeth or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then. Um... But it leads to a treasure that was left on Earth by aliens. Yes. <laughs> yes. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Mark Wahlberg comes in because he is um, looking for, not his brother, maybe he's like, my daughter went missing because she was looking for uh, a treasure and then it, it was on like the yeah. tooth of a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. and he's a he's a, a Boston street cop. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Um, so he's investigating her we, disappearance. Can I just throw this out there? Are they at any point swapping faces? Because I feel I like... Mean, I think I want to see those two actors do the face off bit and play one another. I think they got to swap faces. Now, who yeah. is the um uh woman who can't be trusted who gets thrust uh, upon these two? Ooh, uh woman who can't be trusted. She's got to be because that's the way they were doing it now. If they're both white, she's got to be something else because that's that's just how it works. Mm, true. Um yeah. that's yeah. how it works now. That is that's the formula, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um Aquafina? Okay, sure. I like Aqu- Aquafina. Before you you brought up that excellent point, I was going to say Jojo Siwa because I feel like it also has oh. to. These guys are both a little yeah. old. We need to get like some younger people in the mm-hmm. door. Well, um, she's gay, so that counts. I think that counts. Yeah, I think it counts because yeah, she's gay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like Isa Gonzalez is the actual actor that yeah. would be cast in this. Film. <laughs> <laughs> like, like in in twenty twenty two, like she's yeah. already auditioning for this, even though this movie doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, I know that they both qualify for this, but who is the the Antonio Banderas, the like older but still recognizable actor who plays the the heavy or the the um, the bad guy who's also running a rival archaeology. You know who'd be good uh, as a as a corporate. bad guy in one of these movies? I think is Jaiman Hansu. So I'm gonna oh, throw okay. him out there. Oh. I could tell because you got to yeah. It's always it's always like a, like a mysterious foreign man who's wealthy and he's got an elaborate, impressive office. Yeah. And like mm-hmm. yeah, who do you picture when you're in a, an elaborate right. office of a very sophisticated foreign gentleman? Put and him then, in a suit. Yeah. Put, now, put John and Hansu uh, in a suit and you're done. Finally, give me give me one set piece with Cage and Wahlberg. One stunt or or situation that is like a watered down version of some other movie or or something original mm-hmm. that they got to get through. Okay. Um. So um. Let's just do a full remix. So there is um a boat in the sky. <laughs> Sure. Um, and there's a minecart track going next to it. There's a minecart track next to it. Um, and so they have to um, get onto the boat in the sky because it's the only way that they can then get into a uh, spaceship sure. that yeah. is going yeah, next right, to it. Yeah, you're right, because we have to bring right. aliens back. I was yeah. the, yeah. the, the yeah. downed spacecraft that landed at Roswell in the 50s that mm. the CIA has obviously been mm-hmm. holding on to this whole time. Yeah. That's what they're stealing at the end. So they've got to fly that out of the installation, and then it crashes onto the yep. Vegas Strip. And it turns obviously, out that uh, obviously they crash it onto the Vegas Strip. Obviously. Yeah, in a in a in a How wink do I and a live? wink Except and I can't a nod sing the whole thing to Con Air. <laughs> uh, and dinosaurs, it turns out, were the aliens all along, and they oh they God. seeded oh, humanity. That's yeah. so good, man. <laughs> lizard, lizard people. Yeah, I moonfalled it. Um, that's all right. perfect. That's exactly it. Uh, there's your there's your blue notice this week. We did it for you. Uh, we are going to be back in here in studio next week yeah. for um, not a film, but a but a but long, a red notice, but a red notice, but a longer red notice. Uh, <laughs> it also includes archaeology. <laughs> We're never going to escape, man. <laughs> there are artifacts involved. Um, there's definitely some banter. Um, oh. There's some actors that you like um, doing things you don't um, <laughs> that's a clue for next week thanks so much for watching we had fun didn't you everyone but lon had fun we'll see you next week on australia commentaries see ya bye-bye we'll be